This is a tutorial for the tagging and clipping tool and that's used to mark up your game so you can make highlight packages or if uh, you're a coach and you'd like to break down all the plays, perhaps the power plays, the penalty kills, uh, goals, etc. That can be done with tagging and we're going to demonstrate that right now. So first of all you need your login uh, account that would be your username and your password and after you enter that simply log in to the screen. The first screen you'll come up with uh, by default is the tagging screen. Your navigation is in the top right hand corner. You've got clipping, tagging and viewing. We're going to talk about tagging in this particular session. In order to find a game you can search by date. We're going to go back into December particularly December 6th. You can choose conference division or team. In most cases you're just going to be looking for your team. So in this case I'm going to use a specific team. Clicking find will bring a result of that team on that particular date. And I'm going to begin playing the game. So the video will start playing in the window. You have the ability to move your cursor with the mouse forward and backward accordingly. And just a hint, before you start tagging, it's a good idea if the game's already uh, been recorded on a game sheet. And in this case here, um, you can see in the, uh, the top right, or pardon me, top left of the video, we've got the time clock. And uh, if your game has a time clock burned in, that's going to be helpful because you'll be able to go through the game sheet and you'll know roughly where the plays are that you're trying to tag. All right, so I've got some predetermined tags over here. This is what happens when you do in fact play one of those. Um, this was tagged and again just a sample here. This was called injury. Uh, it might be something that you wanted to note. The video is going to stop on its own. I didn't click anything. That just uh, it was a 10 second tagged uh, play. Let's look at the next one and it'll do similarly the same thing. It'll go through the play and then at the end of the tagged piece that you've created it's going to stop the, the video. You can stop anytime yourself as well or, or move forward through. This example here, uh, power play, this is kind of interesting. Uh, I won't play the entire thing but uh, I'll show you what we have. I just stop it. When we created uh, this power play, you'll see that uh, when you click the mark button, it sets the time that the play was created. So as an example, if there are, is a goal scored and you're going through the video, as soon as that goal is scored you would click the green button called mark. What it does is sets a marker and then moves backward in time. You can choose the length backward that the video is going to uh, pull from. So it can be 10 seconds, 20 seconds, in the case of this power play uh, it's 30 seconds backward. And I'll just play that now and show you uh, a rough idea of what it looks like. So again for a coaching tool you wanted to maybe highlight the uh, first power play of the, uh, the first period. You can give it a name. You can change that name here in the description so it gives you a lot of flexibility. There's also some presets, goals, penalties, injuries, and you can just choose a preset if you'd like. Now that's the end of the power play. That's going to stop the video. So I'm going to move the video forward and just build an arbitrary clip here ourselves. Let's find some action. And, and uh, if maybe if we're lucky, we'll find something that occurs. All right, let's let's uh, let's just go from there. So by clicking the word mark, it sets the time in the video. You'll notice 1 hour 53.17, that's the start time. We're going to go 10 seconds backward. And we'll call this one test tag 1. By clicking save, that's going to drop it in our list and we can play it. Let's have a look at our test tag. You'll notice that video has started 10 seconds prior and it's going to go up to the point where I originally selected. There you go. Now if I've decided I don't really need that, I can select any one of these 
and in this case I'm going to pause but um, you don't have to but uh, by pausing it makes uh, it gives you kind of a last opportunity to make sure do I want this I'm going to delete it and now it's gone you'll notice from the list make one more just for the sake of this tutorial let's go back a little bit before that There you go. Let's start from there. So that was a, a breakout play. Uh, we'll give it 20 seconds and we'll call it breakout play. All right. And there we go. We've now got our breakout play. Here's what it looks like. I happen to uh, just fortunately time it right from a face off. So this is 20 seconds worth of action that started from uh, face off in the neutral zone and then it's obviously an offensive play and there we go so that's about what we had that is how you tag your game you can tag as many or as few as you like and it will save all of these tags with the specific game so when you go back and search historically for it you can find those again that's it for now. We're going to move into our next tutorial, which is going to show you how to clip, but we'll do that in another session.